Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to get these 13F SEC forms. I'm gonna be using the RSS feed from this page to get the forms. If you click on the RSS version of the page, we can see the title, which includes the fund or manager that's filing this 13F, along with the link to the actual filing. So this is what I'll be using to extract those two items. And this link isn't a direct path to the filing, but it'll take us to the page where we can find the filing. And just to give you an example, let's go back and we click on this first link. So this is where the link from the RSS feed will take us. Now within this page, we need to find the actual filing, which is this information table. And if we click that, we can see that it's an XML. So I'm gonna be using the RSS feed to take us to the page where we can find the filing. And then I'm gonna use that page to get the information table and then extract all the contents and we can repeat the process for all the filings that are inside of the RSS feed. And one thing I wanted to point out was that these filings don't have an actual stock symbol or a ticker. Instead, they provide the company names along with the QSIP. So we are gonna need some sort of table where we can look up the QSIPs and that part is completely optional. We can always group by the QSIPs. And I did manage to find a site that keeps these QSIPs and tickers grouped and we're gonna try and match the QSIPs with the tickers. But the lookup table may not have all the QSIPs for all the tickers. I think it's limited to around 2,700 different QSIPs. But in the end, it'll still save us some time from looking these up manually. So let's go to our script so we can read everything in. All right, so here's some of the packages we're going to require. We're gonna start off by reading that table with the QSIPs and the tickers. We're gonna extract the table and format the column names. Now, if we take a look at that table, we see that we have 2,700 different entries. We do see a QSIP company name along with the ticker. So I will be using this table to look up the QSIPs, but again, we're only limited to around 2,700. All right, so continuing on with the script, I'm gonna read the SEC page in RSS form, and I'm also going to convert it as a data frame. So if we take a look at that table, we have a total of 298 entries. And if we scroll to the right, I'm gonna format this column so that we're left with the fund name by removing this 13F HR quarterly report. And we're also going to be using this link to take us to the actual filing. So I'll go ahead and remove that title. Now, in order to get to the 13F filing, we're gonna use this function. And if we open up this function, we're gonna pass in a number one through 298 which is the number of filings in our RSS feed. So we're gonna extract the metadata, which is the publication date, the link to the filing, and the fund name as well. After we extract that, I'm gonna use the item link to read HTML. So by doing so, we are actually reading in this page. And within this page, we will see two tables. One is for these links here, and the second table, which is the one we need, is the one that contains the information table. So in our code, I will be searching for the table, extracting all the tables within that page, and I want the second table, and that will give us the filing name in XML. Now we need to use that name and add it to our URL. So that's what this line is doing. And after we get the full URL to the filing, we can now read HTML again, and this time it'll actually take us to the 13F. And after we read in that page, I'm gonna get the length of the total number of records by using HTML nodes info table. So all the records within the filing are separated by info table. And then we're gonna use L apply and pass in the numbers one through the length of the table to extract each record. So this line will get us all the columns for the records inside the filing. And we're gonna be returning that as a data frame. And then I'm gonna use our bind list to put everything together and return that as data. And then I'm gonna convert this as a data frame. And then after we have that data frame, I'm gonna adjust some columns by making them as numeric columns. I am adjusting the value column. I'm multiplying it by a thousand to get us the true value. After we fix these columns, I'll be adding the metadata, which includes the publication date, the fund name, and the item link. And then finally, I'll just be returning the adjusted data frame. So let's go ahead and minimize this function. I'll go ahead and run it. I'll be testing it by getting the second item in our RSS feed. So let's take a look at that filing. All right, so we have a total of 93 different entries. We have the issuer name, the class or title of that fund or company, the QSIP, the value, the share amount. This column will tell us if it's shares or something otherwise. Investment discretion. Here we have our voting authority, if it's sold, shared, or none. The publication date, the fund filing this 13F. And if you actually want to see the location or the path, you can use this link. So these are all the columns that the 13F filing returns. Now we're gonna try and use the QSIP and match these with our table to see if we can find some tickers. So let's continue on with the script. 
All right, so I'll be adding a column called symbol into that data frame or table. Now for each of the QCIPs inside of our table, I'm gonna see if we can find or match up the QCIP with the ones in our lookup table. If it can't find anything, I'm just gonna add NA instead of a symbol. Otherwise, I'm just gonna return and paste in that ticker into the symbol column. So let's go ahead and run this block. And let's take a look at our table again. Towards the very end, we now see that it did find some, but not all of them. But as I mentioned previously, this is just an extra item we can add. We can always use the QSIP if we wanna gather all the filings together and see which companies or stocks are being traded the most and or do some analysis with all the filings. Now, finally, if you wanna extract all the contents within that RSS feed, we're gonna use this following block where we pass in one through the number of rows in temp, which temp was the table from our RSS feed. So we're gonna pass in each row since there's 298 different filings. I'm just gonna do one through three. I'm gonna run this block. And after that's done running, I'm gonna use our bind list to row bind all the filings together. And I'm gonna return that as a data frame. So let's run that line. And we'll take a look at that table. So we see we have 231 different entries, which should contain the first three filings from the RSS feed. Well guys, this concludes the video. I hope this information was useful. I'll leave a link down in the description area to the Patreon where you can find the script. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.